Hi everyone, this is Bogdan from Qubit.com and this is a presentation video of our product Qubit Trade Manager. This is the MetaTrader 4 version of the program that was ported from MetaTrader 5 after build 600. As you can see the Qubit Trade Manager is listed within experts here. So I'm gonna drag it to the chart. And because this expert is about manual making trades and adjusting the open trades and working orders will have to enable the live trading. Alright. Clicking OK. And now we'll enable the automation. As you can see, the dialog box has already appeared and has taken the default settings of the chart that the expert was attached to, meaningly the symbol is dollar to the yen. The application is made to help you adjust your open trades as well as your working orders. It can help you manage your risks and it can provide extensive information about your trading activity. This interface is the open trades interface. You see you can open, modify, or close trades. Of course, we don't have any, so let's take a tour of this interface. First area to the center is the manual trading area, where you see the current symbol, it can be changed from here. The volume box, which is here, the spread from the platform, and the buy sell buttons. The area below is the area where you can modify the key parameters of your trades, such as stop loss or take profit, before launching them. And the area to the right is where stop losses and take profits are being displayed, so you can overview them before taking an action. Now let's go forward with the calculation of the main parameters. The lot size can be modified manually straight in its box, here for instance, but it also can be calculated and for that we need to check the option that is directly influencing it, which is the margin. With this option we can specify exactly how much will be the margin for the trade to be open. Is it going to be a percentage? Is it going to be from the balance or from the equity? Or is it going to be straight in account currency? So for instance, we're checking the margin and uh, let's set it to dollars and let's put it about $200. And you see uh, it gives us 0, 02 lots because uh, this would mean $20,000, which divided by 100, which is the leverage of this account on MetaQuote server, yields $200 margin, which is our selected margin. Now let's go forward and set up the stop loss. We'll check the stop loss. Let's put it, for instance, to be 1% of the equity. You see the stop loss values listed here. We can also specify the take profit and let's say it's about 2% of the equity. Like this. You see now the stop losses and the take profits listed. And you see them constantly updating at every tick. And that will happen as long as auto calculate is on. If you push this button, the auto calculate will switch off and you'll need to calculate them manually using the calculate values button. But that's not so uh, recommendable to do. Also, if you don't want to take profit, we can check the risk reward ratio like this. For instance, let's put a ratio of risk reward about four, which means one unit of risk, four units of profit and you see these reflected in the stop loss and take profit values. So let's launch the trade. We're gonna buy. And it says instant buy 0 0.2 dollar to yen lots at 102, 148. Done. Okay, we have the order listed here. And to demonstrate that we're on the MetaTrader 4 hedge enable platform, let's also do the opposite trade and sell. Okay, we've got the sell executed. 
All right. Let's launch another trade on Euro Dollar, for instance, and with a margin of 500. Okay, let's buy, for instance. We got a requote. Let's try again. Okay, we got instant buy. So now we have three orders. Let's see how the modify interface works. Let's go to the modify interface right here. So you see here the tickets listed, each ticket with its data displayed nearby. And now, for instance, on this buy order, let's move the stop loss a bit lower. Let's say it's like 3% from the equity. Modify. All right, we got it modified. Another neat facility here is the ability to move stop losses directly to break even, especially if your trade is already in profit. And now let's look at the close interface. We'll go to close interface here. The close interface has two parts. It's a lot similar with the modify interface. The lower part of the interface gives you the ability to close a multitude of orders, depending on which type is selected. All orders, orders for the selected instrument, for instance, it will open here, selector, profitable orders, losing orders. Okay, the upper part contains information of the current selected order as in the modify interface, but also the buttons to close it or to close and reverse that closes the order and reopens it in an opposite direction. Close and reverse is specifically targeted at scalpers, especially because it joins that opening function with the close function, so it's no longer needed to return to the open interface and open a new order. For instance, let's close all the orders on the yen i go for the selected instrument, dollar to yen, close trades. And now we're left only with the euro dollar order. Let's close and reverse it. See the buy changed into a sell. Now let's do it one more time. Sell changed to a buy. Pretty neat and quick. Now let's close the remainder order on the euro dollar. We use the individual close. And this concludes the open trades interface. Similar to the Open Trades interface, the Working Orders interface has three sub-interfaces, one to open, modify and delete working orders. For this interface, we start with no working orders, so that's easier to follow. You see here the symbol, which is the one of the chart on which the expert was attached, the order type, and we implemented just the four basic types. The price, the volume, the stop loss, and the take profit. Also, if you want to use an expiration date, you can uh, check the expiration date and then specify one in the field that opens up. Also, you can specify your comment here. Of course, these are manually set, but as you've seen in previews, Open Trades interface, they can also be calculated. In the lower part of the dialog box we have here, as in the open trades interface, the controls for volume by the margin, the stop loss and the take profit working together. 
So let's open an order here at 102, 165 with a stop loss at 102, 135 and a margin of $200. We have the order placed. Now let's modify it. We go to the modify interface. You see the ticket here of the order that was previously open. We have it here, the pending order. And let's, for instance, modify the stop loss to be, let's say, free percent of the balance no, of the equity okay and uh, let's just modify order we have the modification done it's way below but that's why I don't see it in the chart And now to illustrate the delete, we go to the delete interface. We have here our ticket. You have the information here. And of course, we don't need uh, in bulk deletion. We just do a delete order. And the order is gone. And that's all about working orders. This component of the Qubit Trade Manager product is the Risk Info interface that allows you to control your risks, to see in a single table what are your risks and your targets for your open trades and working orders. For this demo, we have open trades and working orders with and without stop loss and take profit set. And you can see in this window you have the open trades as well as the working orders, like this one here because it selected the all mode otherwise you can have only open trades or working orders but in this case we select the all it displays the type of the open trade or working order when the margin the risk and the target in two modes as a percent as you can see them now because the percent option is activated or in the money. And this concludes our presentation of the Risking for Interface.